and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first orchid unboxing. I am fairly new to orchids, so I'm really nervous and I don't know what to expect. So if anyone has any tips, advice, or comments, they can leave it down below in the comments section. If you've section. enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. So let's start the unboxing. This is my first time ordering from Tropical Gardens Orchids. Um, they're located in British Columbia, Vancouver. So when I placed my order, it was on a Saturday and it took about a week in transit. I ordered a few telumnias, a dendrobium phalaenopsis, and a Selogeny fimbriata. All these orchids are new to me, so this is going to be really great learning something new. As long as they don't die on me, fingers crossed. So it looks like it's packaged really well. They do kind of look like they're on the small side, but I did double check their website. Four out of five are blooming size and the Dendrobium phalaenopsis is a mature seedling, I believe. Here we have the Tilumnia JRAC Flyer Magic. I'll be sure to add pictures. Looking at her closely, looks like she has a new growing root tip. These were packaged really well. They came nice and dry, not damp at all. Okay, so here we have the Dendrobium King Dragon Alba. He is looking pretty good. No sign of pests. There is some sort of red or purplish pigmentation on the leaves. I don't know why it's there or if it's a pattern, but altogether he is looking really good. I have no complaints. Unfortunately, I can't check the roots right now, so I won't know until I actually try to repot him. Okay, this one looks like it's packed in some perlite, I'm assuming. Um, so here we have the Selogeny Fimbriata. I'm sorry if I am pronouncing these na uh, the name of the orchids wrong. If anyone knows the correct way of saying the name, they can just leave it down below in the comment section. Now, looking at this orchid, I can't tell 
if that is a flower spike but hopefully when I do repot her there is no setback and she blooms for me that will be a great surprise Next, we have the Tillumnia JRAC Firm Black Bowl. Unfortunately, looking at him right now, he does not look like he's in the best of conditions. Hmm. His root tips are pretty dried up also he has some scratch marks on his leaves don't I don't know if that was just damage or if that was some sort of pest damage done in the past but looking closely at it right now I don't see any signs of pests And finally, here we have the Tillumnia J. Rack Flyer Red Masks. Looking at him closely, he looks like he's really healthy. I'm not sure if it's a mature fan. Looks like he has some new growth. Also, there are some new active root tips there emerging. But I know the angle is terrible, so hopefully when I do a repot, you guys will get a better look. Okay, so that's all my orchids. I'm going to clean this all up and I will bring down all my orchids so we can have a look at them all together. So here we have the Tillumnias, then the Selogeny Fimbriata, and the Dendrobium Phalaenopsis. Okay, so let me remind you guys, I have no experience whatsoever with these orchids, so this is going to be a new learning curve for me. All I can hope for is that they don't die on me, but sometimes it just happens. I'll be sure to do an update video just to see how they have established themselves. So if you've enjoyed my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!